Who wants to get on this bed and f Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best dribble moves in NBA 2K23, current and next gen. This applies to both games. Now, you guys can see in these clips, I have figured out the dribbling system already. I have been killing everybody on this game, and I can't lie, NBA 2K23, you guys did good. Ronnie 2K for once, I'm gonna give y'all credit. This game has been amazing to me and a lot of other people that I know of. As the months go on, we will get more advanced with the dribbling, but for right now, I'm gonna put you guys onto the best, most efficient dribble moves in the game. Now, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best dribble moves for builds that get an 87 and below ball handle, and then as well as a 90 and below ball handle. So it's not just one build. Now for any guard that gets a 92 plus ball handle, these dribble moves will work as well. Drop a like on the video if you guys want a dribble tutorial soon. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe right now. We are almost at 500,000 subscribers. As you guys can see, I have a 90 ball handle. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly the dribble moves that I have been using with this build and this exact ball handle. So if you guys get anything up to a 90, I recommend you guys using this. If we go to my animations, these are my animations right here. I need everybody to drop a like and sub up if you guys are new to the channel. I'm putting you guys on. Our dribble style is Michael Jordan. As you guys can see right here, Michael Jordan is just a very good dribble style. It's super calm, it's super chill, and it's not too complicated with doing a whole bunch of weird combinations and dribbles. Now, as you guys can see for the signature size up, I've tried out a few of them and I have found that Kobe Bryant is the best. You guys see in my clips when I go between the legs and speed boost out of it, it is so unstoppable. If you have quick first step on Hall of Fame, you are going to blow by the defender literally every single time. This move was very popular in NBA 2K20. But uh, yeah, it's back. Now, if you guys don't like Kobe Bryant, I recommend using De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is really good. You can spam that between the legs right there on your screen and then speed boost out of that as well. But for me, I use signature size up Kobe Bryant. Make sure you guys add this. You guys can see all of the requirements at the very bottom of the screen as well. So make sure you guys have everything. So if you're watching the video and you don't have a 90 ball handle, you got to read the requirements. You know what I mean? Keep watching until the end because I'm going to show a build that doesn't get a 90 ball handle and only gets like an 87. Now for the size up escape packages. I have tried a couple of these size up escapes and uh, my favorite is LeBron James. It's the greatest step back in the game. It's fast. You get the most separation and if if you use the badge space creator this badge is very very useful for this specific move i love it like i said i get a lot of space from it it's that move right there that you just saw you can run into the paint hit him with the step back shoot right off i actually shoot off of this move a lot all you need is a 70 plus ball handle for this so i'm pretty sure everybody can get it unless if you're like a big center but yeah, size of escape package, LeBron James. Make sure you guys equip it. For the moving crossover, you got to go LeBron James with this one as well. It's just the best, cleanest, smoothest, easiest moving crossover that they have in the game. It honestly reminds me of like Stephen Curry from the previous years or even like Pro 4. I forget the names of the old dribble moves, but yeah, LeBron James, definitely the moving crossover you guys want to use. Moving behind the backs, Damian Lillard, if you have a 90 ball handle, is the best one to go with. As you guys can see, it's closest to Scottie Pippen from NBA 2K22. It's the fastest going downhill behind the back in the game. If you guys don't have a 90 ball handle, Zach Levine is kind of valid too. It's just not as good as Damian Lillard. So I recommend Damian Lillard for the moving behind the back. Moving spins, I tried out Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway isn't bad, but if you guys like the basic moving spin, you guys can do a lot of combinations with basic. Um, I recommend doing basic. This is what I use literally for the past, you know, three years since NBA 2K20. You need no requirements. Literally the basic moving spin, and it still works really good to this day. Now for the moving hesitation, I tried out James Harden and Kevin Durant. The best one for sure is James Harden, most definitely. I just think it's fastest, smoothest, and you can really speed boost out of it. Now for this one, you need an 80 plus ball handle, and you gotta be under six foot 10. Majority of you guys watching should be able to get James Harden moving hesitation. Now for the step backs, I've tried a few of these. Luka Doncic was very popular in NBA 2K22. However, this year, John Wall is best. John Wall is the fastest. You can speed boost out of it. It is just the best step back, cleanest step back, and easiest to shoot off of. So for your moving step back, make sure you guys throw on John Wall. Now, if you guys want me to drop an updated jump shot video, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And if this video reaches 5,000 likes, I'll update you guys with a brand new jump shot. My dribble pull-ups are Kevin Durant. A hop jumper is James Harden. So make sure you guys throw that on. And those are my playmaking badges for a build that has a 90 ball handle. Now I'm going to hop on a build that only gets an 87 ball handle. And I'm going to show you guys what's up with the build that just gets a little lower ball handle now as you guys can see 
I'm on my first ever build that I made on NBA 2K23 current gen, the two-way three-point shot creator, which is a really great build. It is a point guard build. It is a six foot four point guard that only has an 86 ball handle, all right? Now, this isn't terrible because the dribble moves that you get aren't even bad at all. This year, I feel like a lot of people are so worried about what specific dribble moves you get. Like, yeah, some are better than others, but at the same time, you can still be very efficient with these dribble moves that I have right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys don't even have a 90 plus ball handle anyways. Our playmaking moves start right here. My, my dribble style is Michael Jordan. I like Allen Iverson as well. So if you guys don't like Michael Jordan, I highly recommend you guys using Allen Iverson. Our signature size up, you gotta throw on De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox, like I said, if you don't get Kobe, this build does not get Kobe. You guys can see the requirements down below. I only have an 86 ball handle and this required an 88. But as you guys can see right here, De'Aaron Fox's combinations are very good. When you spam them between the legs just like that, the speed boost out of it is extremely fast. So it works out great. Now, like I said, the size of escape package, the best one to go with is LeBron James. You get the AI step back from NBA 2K20, if you guys remember that. But it is the best one to shoot off of. You get the most space. And honestly, it just works the easiest. Moving crossovers stay the same as LeBron James. Moving behind the back, my build does not get Damian Lillard, but the closest one to Damian Lillard is Zach Levine, if you guys did not know that. Penny Hardaway is fun to use, but honestly, basic is the best. It's the most efficient. Moving hesitation goes to James Harden once again. And then my moving step back is John Wall. So a lot of these dribble moves are the same. However, there are just a few that I don't get. If we go over here, hop jumpers, I use Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson has the glitchiest hop jumper in the game. I found this out playing 2KU. I found this move out right here before it even went on TikTok, before Ticino even started doing it on stream. I was doing this move like three days before everybody got the game in the 2KU because I did get the game super early due to a plug. But uh, yeah, I just didn't post anything about this. But this is what you need. You gotta be under six foot five, and it's Allen Iverson is the hop jumper. Spin jumpers is Stephen Curry. I really never do this, but if I were to, it would be Stephen Curry. The best fadeaway in the game is still Trey Young. I used Trey Young last year. It's the most consistent. I love it. Use Trey Young instead of Stephen Curry. If you guys don't like Stephen Curry, use Trey Young. If you don't like Trey Young, get used to it because it's the easiest of time. This is the greatest thing NBA 2K23 has added into current gen. It's the 1v1 matchmaking event. I love this so much. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just feel like playing a game within the Dribble Moves video. I'm really only on here just to show y'all this build live and the dribbling live at the 1v1 court. Look at this kid, bro. He's a paint beast, bro. Think he's gonna beat me or something, bro. Not the steals, bro. Please don't. Please don't. All right. Now, I'm going to show y'all, bro. Bro, he's not guarding me. Nobody be guarding me. I hate this. Like, why don't you guard me? I don't understand it. This build is basically friendly to literally anybody if you're just getting the game. Yeah, it's going to take some time to get used to, but at the same time, bro, anybody can use this build. Anybody can use any build. It just takes time to get good at it. But like I was saying earlier in the dribble moves section of the video, the Kobe escape right there. Like, this move, bro, you can go so fast out of it, and then, bro, I know he's not guarding me, but you get the point. Like, if he plays high, I do that move one time, and I just blow past him every single time. Like, I know he's a paint beast. That's probably why he's not playing me out, but, like, it's so overpowered. Yesterday, I was streaming and went on, like, a 20-something game win streak in this event until I lost to a post score. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been loving this game so far. Let me know what you guys think of NBA 2K23 so far. Let me know. Like, y'all see me going crazy? This is live. This is not cut up. No nothing. I mean, sometimes I'll cut it up if I'm stuttering. That's the only reason why you'll see a cut. But, like, y'all see the, um, uh, you thought I was shooting it? Stupid. Like, oh, I missed the layup. Bro, I don't have my layup upgraded. Chill on me. Chill on me. I don't have my upgraded layup just because, you know, I'm only, like, a 90 overall. And uh, layup isn't that important right now. The whole point is just to show y'all that this shit really be going crazy. The dribble moves are like that. And, man, hey, I love NBA 2K23. I hope you guys like this game as well because, man, we're going to go crazy this year. We're almost at 500,000 subscribers, bro. It's, like, so surreal to me. Oh, step back. Come on, for game. Get off my court, bozo. W's in the chat. If you guys made it this far into the video, comment GOAT Clutch. G-O-A-T Clutch. GOAT Clutch in the comments. That just tells me who watches my videos regardless of what it is to the very end of the video. Shout out to anybody who made it to the very end. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want this build, I just dropped it earlier today. The title of the video for this build is My Rebirth Build is Breaking NBA 2K23. So make sure you guys go check it out. I uploaded it earlier today. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that being said, it's been your boy Clutch up next and I'm out y'all. Peace.